guitars. Sound check on the guitar. Guitar's all good. Mike and I are old friends from Venice Beach. I mean, in fact, most of the people that I meet are in Venice Beach. I've met many, many, many. In fact, I met my wife on Venice Beach. And that was wonderful. And to be married is a, is a, is a funny thing. So it's not a funny thing. All right, keep going. <laughs> you know. Well, I've heard some people have been married for a long time. Some people never get married. I've got to have a friend, and so I have a, a companion. It's sometimes two men or two or two two women. It doesn't matter. Love has no distinction. That's right. Who knows said that? Yeah. Who did? Love is a word. These are songs that I've written out of desperation, out of constipation, out of humiliation, out of boredom. But songs, whatever you create, the guitar, the guitar becomes becomes a, 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 a companion for me. Not only is a guitar beautiful, but it's shaped like a woman. So you know, rather than men beating up their wives. I tell them the guitar is under the bed. Take your guitar up and beat uh, beat on that, uh, not at your wife. So for me, I did this. Uh, this was a this is a stolen guitar. I don't know whose it was, but it's not mine now. But don't don't. <laughs> Ponchos are full of them. And uh, so Dolly Parton, I not only is she beautiful, but she's talented. And I dedicate this guitar to Dolly Parton. Uh, you know, for, for me, for, she's a country singer. And so the guitar's glitter, and I said to a woman who's wearing these shoes, I said, could you buy me a pair of shoes like this? She goes, why? I said, I'll wear them. So she said, I have to go downtown to get them. So I said, that's fine. I'll, I'll pay you for them. And because they're glitter, they're, they're fun. Shoes are fun. Everything can be fun. Songs, songs for me, songs. Songs out of desperation, songs out of love, songs out of hunger. If every, if every man had a guitar, forget it. <laughs> forget what I, I had a thought in mind, but I, I uh, thought is not. Here's a song. Makes my life 
pretty funny. Have some fun somewhere I'm the one. Late at night I hear the clinking of my mother's glass. My father walks the halls, cries a lot. I'm his only son, that's all he's got. guitar he said prove it so I break into the trunk of my car I start I start playing it. he goes stop and I go why he said I just give this Playboy Bunny a, a ticket I said well could I have her phone number <laughs> <laughs> he looks at me, he looks at me kind of weird he's on a motorcycle handsome man, young man and he said I said uh, well, where, where is Venice Beach he says, it's south of Santa Monica, south of Santa Monica. So I ended up driving down to Venice Beach, living in my car for a couple of years, but playing every day, every day. I play music every day, sing songs and have some fun. But I saw him 10 years later and I said, Robert, do you remember me? He looks at me and said, well, who are you? He, he said, you're the man that stopped, stopped me on Mulholland Drive, and I asked you where Venice Beach was. He said, just go down, you'll find it. Go down to Venice Beach, and, and it's south of Santa Monica. So Venice Beach, it's a, a gorgeous place, because I'm from 40 below, 40 below, Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. It's, it's very cold. You, can, you could play your guitar, but you'd have to drink a lot of whiskey. <laughs> You, could, you couldn't play, well you could play it, but you couldn't last long. So, so, so. This is the Argentino. Argentino plays, he's a wonderful, talented drummer. Played with a man called, a man called Tom Jones. Tom Jones, he plays with all kinds of famous people. That's why he's playing with me. <laughs> 
but it's, it's, well, what's your problem? I said, I got a problem. I got an ego problem. I got a guitar. I want to be Elvis. So I can't be Elvis. I wear some shoes. <laughs> so I, I became quite fascinated with Elvis. In fact, I have a lady friend that worked for Hollywood and said to me one day, uh, I have the ability for you to come into this studio here in Paramount, wherever it is, and have a suit made for yourself. But I, I hear you like Elvis Presley. I said, I love Elvis Presley. He says, well, you can have a suit. So I have a gold, <laughs> I have a gold suit at home. And it's all Elvis. And so I lost a lot of weight, and I don't look as good as I do. But I have a suit with the, with the, you know, the pants with the gold. His, his clothes, that clothes that Colonel Parker had hit, made for him when he was a very young man, it's gold lame. His clothes are gold, you know, gold threads. And so I said, wow, I could look like Elvis. Well, the suit anyhow. So music, music. And I became, see, I couldn't speak English growing up. When you can't speak English growing up, you, uh, you get chived around. So I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little kid, and I want to join the, the girls. The girls are playing skip and roll, skip and roll. So I come up to them and say, can, can I play with you, girls? And they go, yes. And they, and they say, but you have to be Enders forever. And I go, wow, but I get to play with you. They said, yes. So after 20 minutes. <laughs> After 20 minutes, I said, when do I get to skip in, in rope? And they say, you never get to sco skip. I said, why is that? Because you're Enders forever. <laughs> so I go home to my mother. I said, mother, I'm getting chived around. Everybody that, that, that speaks English, and I don't speak English. And she said, well, what do you want me to do? I said, I want you to buy me a dictionary. Mm -hmm. So somebody said, you can play with us, but you have to be Enders forever. <laughs> 